Okay, now uh, the demo that uh, we're going to show you is known as the thin film interference. So suppose we have some kind of situation like this where you have, the, this is a glass plate, and here is another glass plate, and we have the two glass plates sitting on each other, and there's some uh, air gap in between. According to the physics theory, we have the light beam is going to come and reflect off the, this uh, part of the glass plate, then uh, it's gonna come through the air, it's gonna go in the air and reflect off the bottom glass plate. So according to the equation of the, the reflection, when, a, when the light reflects from the bottom glass plate, since the bottom glass plate, the index of refraction is 1.52, then you have the air gap, when you have a reflection from a heavier medium to a lighter medium, which I've shown the demo of that for springs, there is no change of phase of, um, uh, there's no change of phase of the wave. So it just experiences no change of phase. So then it goes through the air and then you have the bottom glass and then this time it bounces back. This time since it's going from air to glass, there is a change of phase of 180 degrees or half a wavelength. So here's what's gonna happen. When the returned wave uh, comes back and is in phase with the reflected wave, when they're in phase, we see a maximum that's known as uh, maximum in uh, uh, constructive interference. So the difference of the two lengths, if the thickness is T, the difference of the two lengths is 2t. If that is n plus half multiple of the wavelength that the light beam has in the air, which is uh, just going to be n of the uh, lambda n, and then n is the index of refraction of air, which is about 1. So the reason we have the half is because there it is bouncing from a heavier medium here and it's experiencing half a wavelength of shift. So it has 2t n plus half lambda. So that means every time that the thickness meets this criteria, there is constructive interference. Every time that, so this is for constructive, every time that the the, the thickness of the air gap meets this criteria, 2tn lambda, there's destructive interference. Okay? So uh, you're going to see a bright uh, bands and dark bands. Bright bands, dark bands. If I can uh, manipulate the thickness between the two glasses, I can actually make it look like a ring. Okay? Like a central bright band then you have a dark band, then you have a bright band, dark band, bright band, dark band. So let's say the bottom, the, this one is the bright one here, then dark, then you have bright, and then you have dark, then you have bright, and then you have dark, and this is known as Newton's rings. Newton was the, one of the first ones who discovered this, and it's named after Newton. Now, the other kind of thing I could do is, instead of air in the middle, I could put oil. Okay? And uh, then what, what's going to change? The oil, depending on index of refraction, is probably going to have an index of refraction somewhere between uh, that of air and glass. Uh, if it's wa like water, the index of refraction is about 1.3. Oil might be a little bit more. So whatever the index of refraction of the oil is, the similar thing is going to happen. Over here, when the light beam bounces, it's not going to experience change of phase. Then it's going to go through the oil. Then from the oil to the glass, it's going to experience a change of phase of 180 again. However, the difference is, this time the wavelength of the light beam in the oil is going to be lambda over n and then where n is the index of refraction of the oil. So therefore the equation changes to this. 
2 T N N plus half lambda, 2 T N N plus uh, uh, N lambda for uh, destructive interference. Okay? So the only thing that changed is you have an extra N here. Now you might be saying to yourself, you have two Ns happening here. Why are, are they the same N? To not confuse between the two, we'll put here the letter M. M standing for some integer, 0, plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3, dot, 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 dot. That way, this, uh, what I was calling N was just an integer. We'll just label it M. It's not the same as this N, where this N is the index of refraction of the material. Okay? This one change it to M. Okay? So, what's the conclusion then? With the oil, you have 2TN is M lambda, where M is some integer. 2TN, where N is the index of refraction of the oil, and you have M plus half lambda. With the, if it's just an air gap, you don't have the N. You don't have the N because the index of refraction of the air is just one. Okay, so we're gonna look at this here. We have two glass plates sitting on each other. Now, I don't even have to create the air gap because the glass plate, the two glass plates already are not perfectly flat. So when I place one against the other, we already create certain uh, thicknesses in between. So now if you come and look at it, you can see from different angles, if I press on it, you can see dark bands, white bands, bright bands, dark bands, and the pattern shifts, okay? This one is the oil one. You can see here, okay? Right in the center is the central maximum, and as you go, uh, Farther, farther, you have a bunch of rings, and inside of there is oil. If you if you get close to that, you'll see the rings. Now, if I want to change it, I can shift it over. I can change the. I'm making the thickness here smaller, and if I make the thickness here smaller, it moves over in that direction. If I make the thickness there smaller, okay. Now you can see it's kind of going over. This is also the same reason that soap bubbles, when illuminated by light, they create rings like that. Okay, so now you could see I have a green light shining on it, and therefore the wavelength is of green light is different than the wavelength of the white light. And so you could also see the rings there very, very clearly. The, th the, uh, the white, dark rings, as you go out, they get thinner, 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 and they occur much more often. And again, I could make it shift by changing the thickness, and make it shift and have the pattern come more to this side. Now, again, I could do that with this. If I press it, if I increase the distance, very clear pattern developing. You can have a lot of rings, and in the lab we can make intricate calculations with this. We can count how many rings we are seeing per given distance, per given length. We can make measurements. I could press on this, make the wave, make the pattern come more to this side. Okay, so you can now see the phenomena of uh, thin film interference. So you can now see the phenomenon of thin film interference. It's often talked about in the book, and people do problems with it, but they don't really visualize it because they haven't really seen it, or maybe they haven't noticed it, you know. So now you can actually see what that looks like. Thank you.